your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by the DiDonato Family Fun Center in Hamilton with 26 professional grade all hardwood bowling lanes and our upscale bar and grill, Alley, with only the highest quality ingredients made from scratch. Boy, I'll tell you, it is one hot, sultry afternoon, and as a result of the high heat and high humidity, you also have high concentrations of ozone. So it might be hard to breathe for some of you out there, especially if you're in sensitive groups with pre-existing health conditions. We have moderate levels of ozone throughout South Jersey into the Philly metro area in the yellow shaded area. Also portions of Southeast Pennsylvania and of course the New York metro area as well. So as we heat up, it's important to remember to drink lots of water. You want to stay as hydrated as possible. You want to take as many breaks as possible as well. Don't overexert yourself. I would avoid the strenuous workout routines for a couple days. Things are going to get better a little later in the weekend. If you can stay in the AC and of course don't forget our pets. They feel just as bad as we do. Don't let them outside longer than they have to be out there. Temperatures on the mainland are crawling into the lower 90s at this hour. The beach is the place to be. 81 on the sand, 60 in the water. That number is down from where we were earlier in the day because of that upwelling promoted with the south to southwest wind at 15, even up to 20 miles an hour. So some of that cooler water that is just beneath the surface is able to make its way up. Our future cast for the rest of today is going to show you perhaps a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. No surprise there. We went into the day knowing that would be the case, but most of you are dry. We're dry going into tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we actually have a chance of a couple showers or thunderstorms moving through. I really think between say eight and 10 o'clock around could come through the Philly metro area and then off the shore. And then again in the afternoon, another round is possible, but it's not gonna be an all day thing. It's hit or miss. I wouldn't go canceling your plans just because some thunderstorms are possible. But I will tell you, there is a concern for very heavy rain. Because of the excessive levels of moisture in the atmosphere, you have a fuel source, so to say, for these thunderstorms to take advantage of. Looking at the dynamics, I'm not really concerned about damaging thunderstorms, but the concern for flash flooding is there. You could legitimately end up in a situation where your town gets an inch, inch and a half, two inches in a short period of time, then the town over gets nothing. We've seen that happen many times. So that's the kind of thing that you just need to be weather aware through tomorrow afternoon about. 73 tonight, it's gonna to be very uncomfortable, sticky, high levels of humidity. Going into the day tomorrow, we're likely going to be opening the door in the afternoon for those scattered showers and thunderstorms shutting off by your evening hours. Some clouds could linger for the first part of Sunday, then in the afternoon, say mainly after 1 or 2 o'clock, the sunshine will come back out about 85 degrees. Humidity will likely take a little bit of a back step. Okay, let's take a look at your 7-day forecast here. I have us at 86 on Monday for the holiday. You're good to go. Partly to mostly sunny skies, 86 degrees does it. Low to mid 80s on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a bit more unsettled with more shower and storm chances.